Welcome. Welcome to part two. Motherfucker. On today's video, we will be picking up from part one. Um, where we had left off was that the engine just completely... Um, I was hitting my pedal. Um, although I figured out like a sweet way to, you know, tighten my chain. That was cool. But the mounting is still an issue. And I don't have any extra uh, mounting brackets available. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that first. And then I'm going to continue on with my install. Ha ha! Okay, so welcome back. All right. So what I've done actually is um, inspired by Will's comments, I have uh, remounted my engine actually. Um, and um, so before uh, this piece was like up here, now it's down here. Um, before um, the engine was slightly behind this stud here and now I've moved it down to um, slightly on this stud which I'm not really happy about but it's sort of where the uh, it's sort of where the pedals get the most clearance so I'm going with it um, I've used these bolts to tighten uh, this thing against here against the this the seat bar um, and now I just have to um, uh, readjust retention my um, my chain um, and I'm going to be taking out uh, I guess this is like two links I'm not sure I'm not sure what what's one and a half links who knows but this should, should this should be good. This should be a good starting point, and then I'll be able to use um, my dual chain tensioners to uh, make the finer uh, refinements. Furthermore, if you were paying attention in the last video, I couldn't even reach this back screw right here, but now I can. I can. There's more than enough clearance to um, to take off the exhaust or or to replace this the gasket behind here which I will have to do because my gasket is completely frayed out. It's a piece of shit. Um, so actually I was reading, or I was watching a video and it turns out that like a 2002 uh, Toyota Highlander um, uh, gasket is like perfect for this space. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. I, I bought one on Amazon for three bucks, so we'll see what happens. To remove the chain link, I bought this tool, this chain breaker tool, and this thing's actually pretty sweet. Um, before, I was just like pounding like a random, like, I don't know, like a random bit and through, you know, this into the chain, and I was like really fucking everything up. So this thing is it's 12 bucks, and honestly, it's fucking definitely worth it. Definitely. Okay, before I go any further, I'd just like to point out that when the engine is running, the bike wheel is going to be turning this way. Okay, which means the chain is going to be coming up through here, through here, and here. Alright, so what you want to do is um, when you put your linker on, you want to have the round part facing this way, okay? Because it's gonna it's it's gonna be hit, you know. It's it's the one getting hit. Um, it's the one getting hit by the rollers. It's the one that's occasionally gonna get hit in here. So you want it facing uh, in a direction where it's less likely to to pop out. Okay, now I like to use a very tiny little fl flat head because with this you can get leverage like under here 
and you can easily it's a lot easier to pop it in than using um, a larger flathead perfect you know doing this is actually like pretty hard at first but it gets a lot easier um, with the second and third time and fourth time okay after hours and hours and hours and hours I finally have a taut chain uh, I took off uh, my both of my chain tensioners because I um, took too many links out and it wouldn't fit and then this thing barely fit but it's, it's, this thing is really tight like basically I'm gonna be going on the road one day and this thing is just gonna fucking snap off and I'm gonna have to fucking pedal a shame home and I already fucking know this is gonna happen alright but I'm just so sick of fucking playing or dicking around with the chain tensioners and the chain length I'm I'm done it's time to move on it's time to get to the rest of this build okay so obviously like I've lost focus I've been totally derailed by this fucking chain so <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna just come up with a quick plan just off the top of my head um, I'm going to assemble the reed the carburetor and the air filter all at the exact same time okay this is one piece then I'm gonna install um, the throttle cable into the carburetor okay I'm not even gonna fucking worry about all the other random fucking ports that are part of this carburetor that, that didn't come with my basic one and I just have no fucking clue what they are or what they mean uh, and I have all these extra pieces I don't fucking know what they do either and like here for example there are, there are four fucking screws in this bag okay four fucking screws I don't know where any one of them goes okay I don't know where a single fucking screw goes but, oh shit motherfucker all right. look all right look at this four screws okay I this is probably the fuel okay got that what the fuck is this what is that what is this fucking random hose okay um, there's a fucking, like, what is that? No, there's nothing in there. Alright, let's keep going. That's something. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks important, though. There's a fucking random hole. Um, then there's this fucking hose, okay? Coming out of this random port. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Seriously. I don't fucking know. And I got four of those fucking little cap things. I only count. Let's see here. One. Okay. One. Fucking. Where's another one? Alright. Fucking. There's. There's. Here. Okay. We got. That thing. One. We got. Is this even a fucking thing? Two? Okay. I have four of those fucking screws. Where do they go? Where? What are they for? Why are there no instructions with this fucking thing? Seriously. There isn't an instruction manual for a fucking carburetor. I feel like, dude, they're all like a little different. Like, fucking... Give me the goddamn... Give me the goddamn diagram, dog. Fucking, fucking made in, made in fucking Taiwan, motherfucker. Like, like everyone in Taiwan has a fucking motorized bicycle, so they don't need fucking instructions. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh yeah, this is so simple. This is so simple, motherfuckers. Look, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be racist. You know, I love Taiwan. Taiwan, solid U.S. ally. All right. In America's lake, the Pacific Ocean, solid. All right, we use Taiwan all the time to piss China off. You know what I mean? 
Like, I fucking love Taiwan, you know? They manufacture a lot of good stuff. But what the fuck is this, dude? You call this a diagram? What the fuck is... Like, what? Nut for oil. I... What? What? What is this diagram? Are you kidding? What? Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Because, um... <clears throat> it's approaching 10 minutes, and that's just like... That's my fucking limit. That's my fucking limit. We'll pick up in part three. All right. All right. That's for Daniel.